Morning, everybody. It is five in the morning and I don't want to be awake, but my brain had uh, other ideas. Okay, so today's state of the industry uh, address is going to be about Jan LeCun and specifically this paper that he put out uh, a couple months ago back in June. So what, September, August, July, June, so about four months ago, uh, three and a half months ago. Um, okay, it says a path towards autonomous machine intelligence. So he doesn't call it artificial general intelligence, he calls it autonomous machine intelligence. And looking at this, he talks about one of my favorite topics, cognitive architecture. So, you know, there you go, keyword, cognitive architecture. Now, one thing I will say is that, you know, he just comes right out and says this document is not a technical nor scholarly paper, but it's a position paper. Okay, so it's not technical. Um, there's no code. There's a little bit of math and some diagrams. Um, but the overall thing is he's basically proposing, what is this? This is a um, biomimetic cognitive architecture. And you see how there's all these little interlinks and stuff. What does this look like? This looks like um, a microservices diagram or a wiring diagram. Now, one thing is that you see how there's all these crosslinks and interconnections. That's great and all, but I have to say that um, that my uh, my design is a little bit simpler. <laughs> that's what this is all about. Um, yeah, so this work is a little bit less sophisticated than my book. However, um, I am happy to see that a major name in the industry, so Jan LeCun is uh, presently the chief AI scientist at Meta. Um, so, you know, like this is, this is legit. Um, but yeah, it's a little less, less sophisticated. Um, he has fewer components and they're not as well organized. Let's see version 0 0.9. Um, but yeah, so like, what are the, what are the high, high level takeaways? Um, so he's got the idea of a configurator, short term memory, world model, perception, actor, um, two big things that are missing from this one is the agent model and two is cognitive control. So he doesn't really have like, there's no long-term memory, which like you just search for, um, SOAR cognitive architecture and do an image search. Like this has long-term memory, right? And this is a much older, um, let's see, where's uh, it's like symbolic working memory procedurals. Uh, yeah. Symbolic long-term memories. Um, so like, okay, we're reinventing the wheel again. Um, which that's, that's been my chief complaint about, um, about, uh, the state of AGI research is there is so much work that has been done on, um, on cognition and neuroscience and cognitive architectures, and people are just kind of reinventing the wheel. It seems like they haven't done a thorough enough literature review. Um, he does mention Kahneman. So Kahneman talked about system one and system two thinking. So one is just you know, rapid, uh, intuitive thinking. And the other is, um, slow, deliberate thought, which that is exactly what my book is about, which is about slow, deliberate thought. How do you create something that thinks through things? And so for instance, he talks about, um, he talks extensively about cost and intrinsic motivations. I don't think he proposes any intrinsic motivations. I've only skimmed this. Um, but I have an entire book about intrinsic motivations. I call it benevolent by design. Um, so again, like this work is great, but it's just, it's not quite where it needs to be. Um, still not going quite fast enough. Um, yeah, still the right direction. So no criticism there. Um, but yeah, he talks extensively about like, um, intrinsic cost, energetic cost. I wonder if he talks about risk. He minim he, he says minimize risk once. Okay. Uh, so that, ugh. um, why is that bad? Uh, <laughs> if you don't have an agent that thinks about risk to itself or others that much, um, I mean, I guess if I have to spell out why that's bad, okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> anyways, take a look at it yourself. Um, it's, uh, let's see, I think it's about 62 pages before it breaks into all the citations. Um, maybe a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. So there we end. So 47, it's only 47 pages of, of text. Um, there's no code, no examples, no 
uh, actual technolo technological experiments, nothing like that. Um, I have all of that in my book. I actually have demonstrations um, and and actual like real world like, hey, this is a thing that actually that a machine can actually do. And if you want even more, look at my uh, first book on AI, natural language cognitive architecture. So, anyways, check out the link in the comments. Um, this is this is a legit dude, and uh, I am happy that someone on Twitter sent me this link because it is going in the right direction. Um, but yeah, state of the industry. Thanks for watching.